Well, hello and welcome back to the old Patterson farm. I don't know how many more of these videos I'll be making as we're drawing near to the end of another successful mushrooming season. We probably picked, uh, I'm gonna guess a little over 500 this year, maybe. Most of them pretty good ones, pretty good size. And uh, actually got a comment from the gal from Brown County asking how we can possibly find all these mushrooms and not pick them. Well, in reality, we do pick them. Uh, my wife and I don't pick that many. We pick the ones that look like they're old and won't last, but we let the family and friends come up and walk around and find them and pick them. And that's the fun we have with them. So they do get picked, but usually not when I find them. I let them grow and they seem to get larger and there's more of them. But today, since it's the end of the season, it's time to go looking for the elusive big yellow one. And uh, usually those are found where everybody hasn't been picking mushrooms all year. So I'm going to go look in some places where I haven't looked this year and probably haven't found very many in the past, if any. And uh, actually I'm strolling past the campground. And uh, I'm going to look for the big yellow ones uh, today, which is Friday, and tomorrow, which is Saturday. And then after that, it's time to, to turn in my mushroom stick, my trusty old mushroom stick, which actually did come from Brown County um, some 30 or 40 years ago. And I'm going to pick up my not-so-trusted golf clubs but uh it's that time of year so i'll bring you back in if i find any of those big yellow ones talk to you later well i must say the uh elusive big yellow is really being elusive this year i've walked for an hour now i've decided i've come from down there up the creek the last ditch effort I'm walking the creek banks and seeing if I can spot any at eye level As I look over here I can kind of see under some of the weeds but uh since the last video I had been over here a couple times and picked some more of them I came over I've got a friend uh that lives out by me. We live on a little lake uh, full of fish and I give him mushrooms and he gives me fish. So I took, came over and picked a few of them that I knew, little onesie twosies spread out all over the farm. Um, probably got him a couple dozen maybe, but uh, he gave me two nice bags, uh, one bag of, of uh, smallmouth bass and uh, another one, a bluegill from the lake, and he fillets them and the whole thing, and it's really nice, so I'm glad I was able to do that. Plus, I had a friend that I've hunted mushrooms out here with probably for, oh gosh, maybe 40 years, that uh, lives a few miles, well, probably 30, 40 miles away now. I don't see him much, but he came out yesterday, and we walked around, and we picked some more. He got probably... Uh, probably 10, maybe a dozen pretty nice ones. So, but I just can't find that big yellow one yet. I'm going to continue to walk down the creek here and look. And if I see anything, I'll get back with you. Well, I've now walked for almost two hours and I've seen nothing but coarse stems where we picked them in, in the past few days and a couple I guess three four weeks now so uh I'm gonna hang it up today but I'm gonna continue tomorrow with one last push and I'm gonna go down to the other end of the creek and 
and up through the tree farm, which I haven't looked much at this year at all. And hopefully something there. If not, season done. Get back with you. Well, after hours of walking yesterday with absolutely no success, I kind of feel like that Steely Dan song, uh, Call Me Deacon Blues. But uh, I've got a plan for today, and we'll see what happens. Well, this is actually day two of the search of the big yellow mushrooms. I'm going to go up into the old Patterson farm. Uh, this is actually the tree farm that Jonathan Justice planted. I have not looked up there except for once where I strolled through the old dump. And I'm going to go up there and look and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to go into the grassy areas out in the east and follow the creek back on the north side. All of which I haven't been, hoping that there's a big yellow one somewhere. And if there is, I'll bring you back in. Well, I did zigzag through the, the tree farm up there, found nothing, walked all the way through the, the grass and into the creek and followed the creek back here to the campsite, which I'm giving you a panoramic view of, as this is probably the end of the mushroom season, May 15th, 2021. Nothing by that big sycamore this year, but uh, it's supposed to rain, I think, Monday. I may check one more time in the far west end after the rain to see if anything changed. But as for now, it's time to head home and close the 2021 mushroom season. And I want to thank you for watching the old Patterson farm. And I may do one of these in the summer and in the fall and in the winter. And then pick up with the mushroom hunting next spring. But thanks again for watching. And we'll check in with you later.